Hey guys, so this is just a little bit of a collective haul um, on what I got from my sci-fi convention that I went to. It wasn't really geared toward adults, it was more geared toward kids. Um, so yeah, let me get started. Um, they had a little pre-made Harry Potter wands, um, and it was just, it was a, a brown color and a copper color. And I chose the brown color because I like it. And then I just put some copper wire, and you could have cut, you customize them to yourselves. And it was more geared toward little kids, but you know, hey. Um, and then I just put the copper wire here. I wanted to make it look like it was an authentic Harry Potter one. And then here I have the um. I thought it was a Cyberman from the classic series of Doctor Who, but. Up until recently, my brother just told me that it's not. It's a uh, C-3PO. I... I don't know. <laughs> I just thought it was a Cyberman because, um... The... The things over here, I thought it was uh, the Cyberman because they had the bucket handle, kind of. And then my brother pointed out that it was C-3PO. So I got that. And then in the trivia contest, um... That me and my group won. I won a... Um, <clears throat> sorry guys, there's something all over my phone. Um, in a trivia contest, me and my group won the, um, Star Wars. There were eight Star Wars, and each group got to, each member of a group got to, um, pick a, a person. Of course, there were only four people that got to pick an action figure. So, I got, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, now personally, I thought it was a Doctor Who action figure that they had down there, until he said Star Wars, so I didn't, I'm not really a big Star Wars fan, personally. However, I am keeping him. Um, for those of you that didn't know, Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of the most sought-out collector's item, um, of the Star Wars franchise. I'm not sure if that's the original Obi-Wan Kenobi from the original Star Wars, but, uh, this is from Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Um, and then this is just the, the, um, action figure, and, uh, the game card, and then it has the dice in there, which you can see, and then it says die in base, and then there's the base, and there's the die, he's in the packaging, I'm keeping him in here, I'm gonna put them up in a box, in a, um, plastic, uh, cover to keep him protected, and then I'm gonna put him up in a shelf, and, uh, so, yeah. And then, um, they had coloring sheets where you could do these, and they're on cardstock, so they're pretty sturdy, and you could have cut them out, but I didn't want to. Um, I'm a big Star Trek nerd, Doctor Who kind of nerd, Star Trek thing, um, so, I did this. This is from Star Trek The Next Generation Commander's Badge. And they had them from Star Trek The, um, original series. They had Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation, Star Trek Voyager, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and Star Trek Enterprise. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think Voyager was before Deep Space Nine, or Deep Space Nine was before Voyager. I'm not sure, I don't know the Star Trek. I know um, this came out before Voyager so on and so forth. But they had different badges. You could do the different commander's badges and uh, science and everything else. And uh, I just did the Star Trek The Next Generation commander's badge and uh, Star Trek Voyager. Star Trek Voyager commander's badge. And I did this. So, which they're, they're really easy. I could probably make one myself out of clay. But that's all I got. And then here's a little bit more of a details on him, on Obi-Wan. My uncle used to collect all of the old Star Wars. Um, if any of you guys out there have the old Star Wars figures, um, there's a little hang tag. If it's punched, it's not worth a whole lot. If it's punched, it's not worth a whole lot more money than what it is. Um, I think he said it, it, if it's not punched, he said it's upwards of 40 plus dollars plus the action figure if it's in mint condition. If it's punched, it brings you down 40 dollars. I'm not sure. I don't know. Stocks and trades and everything. So, I just like to watch Toy Hunter. So, but, um, 
It says not for resale, so I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if it was sitting in a storage box or something. And then here are all the figures that you can collect. I was going to take him out of the box, but uh, I decided not to because I know he's worth a lot of money in the box and out of the box. So yeah, all of these are going on display in my room, on a shelf in my room. So, and this is cardstock too, it's it's pretty sturdy. But uh, it, like I said, it was more geared toward little kids and less toward adults. They had a couple adult things to do, but not much. Um, it was mainly, like I said, mainly little kids. So, but yeah, these are my videos on uh, what I got from my sci-fi convention. Can you guys tell I'm a nerd? So, yeah. Alrighty, bye guys.